Hello everyone and welcome to this pumpkin spice latte inspired eyeshadow look. I'm using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I'm starting off with the shade Breakaway. I just used concealer to carve out my eyebrows so I wanted to set that concealer. And then I'm going in with the shade Weekender which is a really light beigey color. It's a perfect blending shade. That's what I'm using it for today. If you have darker skin this might not show up on you. I am very very fair so of course it shows up on me you know. Um, anything shows up on a very white canvas. So I'm just putting that in my crease and like I said this is a blending color and then I'm gonna go in with Riff. This is an orangey brown and this is my transition. Um, I am gonna be doing a halo look so I'm putting that in the crease in the inner portion and in, in the outer portion of my lids just to start that halo effect. I love halo looks. I haven't done one in you know a little bit so I thought today would be a perfect day. <laughs> Now I'm picking up the shade Baja, which is a really like bright pigmented orange and again putting it in my crease in the outer V and also in the inner portion of my lid, again building up that halo look. And I also, for this look I wanted to use a palette that I had in my collection and that wasn't new or anything that I've kind of forgotten about honestly and this was the perfect palette. This is a great palette, I always forget that I have it but it has a great range of colors, the quality is amazing, I just, I kind of forget I have this palette so I thought it, was be, it would be perfect for this look for this little pumpkin spice latte look and I feel like people are already decorating for Christmas so I wanted to get this up ASAP because it's still the beginning of November okay so I'm not really late now I'm taking this uh, the shade accelerate and this is like a shimmery orangey brown almost like a copper and again inner corner outer corner and in the crease building up the halo look I love mixing eyeshadows if you guys are fans of my tutorials you already know this um, so yeah that's what I'm doing here to the other eye Let's add a little bit of definition. I'm taking punk and just deepening up everything that I just did in the same exact areas. You guys kind of get the drift of where I'm going with this. I try not to go super dark in the inner corner because I have small eyes and that closes my eyes up. So I try to like take whatever excess I have left on my brush and that's what I put in the inner corner. Um, yeah, just so, cause I don't have big eyes, you know, and I don't want it to look like I have like little tiny eyes. So now I'm going back into Rift and I'm just going to be blending everything out, making sure everything's seamless, nothing is like patchy or anything like that. These shades are super easy to work with, so I never have, you know, like patchy problems with this palette. So, but just making sure it's always good to blend, you know, you never know. And then I'm going in with my favorite concealer. As you guys know, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm just um, concealing the middle of my lid just so the shimmery shade really pops. And I'm just blending that out and then of course like blending it out with my finger so it's not like thick or anything And then I couldn't really figure out which shimmery shade I wanted so I mixed uh, Stranded and blaze and I love the way the mixture looked and I thought it was very you know It, it looked really good with all the orangey and browns so it, it worked out thank god So put that in the middle and then I'm just blending the shimmery shades in with the mattes So it doesn't you know I don't have any harsh lines or anything like that So usually at this point my eyes are looking rough, but then it's concealer time and this is when everything really comes together. So again, using that Too Faced concealer, I hope and pray to the Lord that they never discontinue this concealer, it's my favorite. So now I'm just lining my upper lash line with Punk. Um, I didn't want anything too harsh or anything, that's why I didn't want to use eyeliner. So I just took the shade Punk, lightly lined my upper lash line to give me some dimension and kind of give it like a little sultry vibe. And then I'm just going to set my concealer. This is the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. This is also like my holy grail powder. Please don't discontinue this. I love it. I love the way it makes my under eyes look. I don't look like an 80 year old wrinkly person down there. Anyway, so now I'm taking Punk, um, lining my outer third of the lower lash line, and then I'm blending everything out with Riff. That was my transition color. And making sure that's nice and blended. And then I used these Too Faced False Lashes. I will leave them down below. They are gorgeous. Like, look how good my eyes look. I loved them. And they're new. So I'll link it down below. But then I found this Maybelline eyeliner. It looked just like Accelerate, that color, like that coppery shade. Looked so good in my waterline, so I did that. And then um, to blend my natural lashes in with the falsies, I just used the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express, 
My other eye was drying, but you know, I, I did my lower lash line at least, you know? So just ignore that. But once my lashes were dried and everything, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think this is beautiful. I think this is honestly a perfect Thanksgiving eyeshadow look. So if you guys enjoyed this, let me know down below, like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.